Hi, my name is Brett, and I'm going to explain the basics of one of the most important laws of electricity, Ohm's law. German physicist and mathematician George Simon Ohm developed the super important law of electrical circuits in 1827. At the time, the law and his documentation of it was considered vague and foolish, and he actually lost his teaching position because of it. It took 22 years for his work to be recognised as a major contribution to the field, and deservingly, the law was named after him, Ohm's Law. So why is Ohm's Law so important? Uh, mathematically, it's extremely simple. It only has three elements to the equation, yet it is very versatile and universal, meaning it can be applied to any network in any time frame, including AC and DC circuits. So there are three elements to the equation. Voltage. V equals voltage, which it has units of volts. I, which equals current, has units of amperes or amps. R, which equals resistance, and has units of ohms, which is denoted by this symbol. The three variations on the equation, V equals IR, I equals V over R, and R equals V over I. An easy way of remembering all three variations on the equation to set up a pyramid like this. When solving for the voltage, you have current times the resistance. When solving for the resistance, you have voltage over the current. And when solving for the current, you have voltage over the resistance. So let's do some simple problems, a series circuits, utilizing Ohm's law. So here we have a series circuit. We have an unknown voltage, V1, which we want to solve for. So we need the equation V equals IR, current times the resistance. So we have a current of 2 amps times a resistance of 12 ohms, which is going to equal 24 volts. So that's your voltage V1 here. Let's try another one. This time we have an unknown resistance, R1. So we need to use the equation R equals V over I, which equals, so the volts is 12, 12 volts over the current I, which is, need to be careful here, this is in milliamps, 600 milliamps, we need to convert that to amps, which is going to be 0 0.6 amps, and that will equal uh, 20, I think, yeah, 20 ohms, that's your resistance R1. Try one a little bit harder this time, not too much harder, but this time we have an unknown current I. So we need to utilize I equals V over R. And we need to be careful this time with the resistance. We have two resistors in series, so we can just add these together. And we have a total of 3.2 kilo ohms, which we need to convert to ohms to solve. So we have 16 volts over 3,200 ohms. And solving for that, 16 over 3,200, we have uh, equal to 0 0.005 amps, or 5 milliamps. And that's it. That's that simple. That's Ohm's Law.